we began reaching out to some of the greatest innovators of our time, asking for small, tangible pieces of their legacies that we could use to help educate and inspire future generations. Within weeks, the first item arrived in a small box from Brentwood, Maryland. It was a worn wooden mallet sent by Raymond Caskey, one of the most accomplished sculptors in American history. We stored this item, as he just told you, along with the next few which arrived soon after, in a small closet in Dr. Ransdale's office. Before long, we had that closet overflowing with items from all over the country that any museum would envy. Sarah Burns, who you'll hear from in just a minute. Stand up, Sarah. <clears throat> Not only an outstanding ballerina, but according to the New York Times, the great American ballerina of our time. Going back to thinking, you know, what ballet has done for my life, and just to know that my shoes are an exhibit for everybody to see and for everybody to, you know, maybe after they see that, you know, they go on YouTube or they go and find a performance somewhere and go and see ballet, because, you know, it's not a thriving art form. It's not a huge art form like music or anything, but, you know, it's, it should be growing and it should be out there in the light, and I hope that this makes it better. And I'm just really, really thankful. I'm very intimidated and very honored to be in this company of amazing people that I never thought I would be here. So thank you so much. Elaine LaLanne, welcome to you and your family of Jack LaLanne. Elaine and her sons are representing uh, her husband, Jack LaLanne, the father of modern American fitness movement, uh, who hosted a workout program on national TV that ran for nearly 25 years. 30, 30 excuse me, 30, there we go. <laughs> if it causes just one visitor to dream bigger, or reevaluate re their career path, or be open to a new idea, or be inspired to take a second chance trying something that they always wanted to try, then this exhibit will be judged a huge success.